So heading to the agenda, what I'll be presenting today. The first I'll be giving, giving you a short introduction of what space claim is. Then I'll be taking you through some engineering processes where space claim fits in. So I'll be looking into some CA processes, some additive manufacturing processes, and just give you a brief introduction of how it fits, space claim is a fit in these processes. Then I'll be taking you through some applications overview. So where in these processes would you use a space claim, what you, what you would do in the industry or in the academia with space claim in these processes. So what exactly you would do? And then I look into some industrial outlooks of which industries use space claim on a day-to-day -day basis, which industries are really looking are a potential application for space claim. And then I'll take you so, through some potential roles that in which you would be using space claim from junior engineer roles to top uh, level uh, senior or chief engineer roles. And then I'll be taking you through the compatibility of CAE software with space claim. And then I'll be looking into some current trends of how space claim is being developed for the industry at uh, today. And the second part, I will then give you a quick live demo of space claim and hopefully also if time permits of discovery live where we set up a very quick and dirty simulation with the space game geometry that we have prepared. And then we go to the scope of the course that I would be teaching after this uh, introduction webinar. And then we have our final Q&A session. Okay, so introduction to space claim. Basically, space claim is a part of the ANSYS Workbench suit. So ANSYS Workbench is the main product that ANSYS offers. So space claim is a part of this. You can access it through ANSYS Workbench. Or what you can also do is access it on the standalone mode. What that means is basically you don't really need to open ANSYS Workbench to open space claim. You can just directly open it from your Windows or Linux uh, command. And space limb is a direct modeler. So what this means is if you're used to some modeling tools such as SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, or any commercial tool, you will know that when you're designing something, you have this uh, design tree that forms at each step that you do in the design. And you can revert back to these changes in the, in the, from this tree. But space limb does not have this. So because space limb is a direct modeler, it does not offer any tree on the site. It's basically, just uh, what you do is not really recorded because the purpose of this is not to, uh, let's say, not to harm space claim as a product, but it's more more to make it more user friendly and more intuitive because space claim is meant to be a geometry preparation and a cleanup tool rather than a geometry creation tool. That is because there are a lot of tools that can do that, like SolidWorks or CATIA or and many others. So the main focus of space claim is to prepare geometry as well as clean up geometry for different applications in the industry. And I would really like to highlight that space claim is a really user friendly and very intuitive tool. So there are some really cool shortcuts that you can use such as just control C, control V that you're used to by working with a computer. You just know that you can control and paste with control C, control V. You can do the same thing with space claim. You can control, or you can copy a surface from one body. You can paste it somewhere else onto another body and space claim, the tool is smart enough to recognize that what you want to do. So this will, this will also see a bit in the demo that I will do in at the end of the session. Okay, so space claim versus design modeler. So I just wanted to ask you guys, like how many of you are aware of this design modeler? Just by typing yes, maybe in the chat yeah parts and just type s yes, if you know mm. okay awesome. about about 50 percent of the participants know the design model and 50 percent doesn't know about the design model okay no worries so it's good that at least 50 percent know it doesn't really matter in this case but uh, it's good that you know it. So space claim and design modeler are two different design preparation tools that ANSYS offers. So I just wanted to highlight the difference between the two. So space claim is a direct modeler as I highlighted earlier and design modeler is more of a legacy modeler. So it's, it has this tree structure. You can revert back to what changes you made. 
space claim is really easy and user in, very intuitive to the user in terms of GUI. So that is the user interface. However, the, the design modeler is not that user friendly. It's a very old fashioned tool. Space claim also has these very automated CAD repair tools. So you can do some really automatic steps to make your geometry airtight, to remove some uh, overlapping faces. However, design modeler is not the best tool to do all this. And it's not really automated for doing these changes. And space claim is again heavily being developed for future applications. So what this means is there are future applications such as 3D printing, digital twin technology, which are which the industry is going towards at this day. And space claim is also following this path and it is providing tools to go into this direction and to make the, the engineer more uh, to make the engineer's life easy in these fields as well. However, in design modeler, there are many question marks over the development. So there is, it is not really guaranteed that design modeler will be kept in the ANSYS workbench suit or it will be uh, just uh, phased out. So this is something that is always debated. And space claim is also access standalone. However, design modeler can only be accessed from the workbench. So this is really useful because if you want to make some small changes in a model, you, can, you just need to open one software rather than opening workbench and then opening space claim. You can op just open the model with space claim and make your changes. Okay, so I will now highlight some fits of space claim in engineering processes in the industry. So what space claim is, is so I'll highlight here like three of the engineering processes where CAE, that is computer aided engineering, conventional manufacturing and additive manufacturing. So if you're working in, let's say, developing a jet engine, so you have these really raw CAD data, right? So you get blades from one department, you get veins from another department, you get the casing from some other department, and everyone has their own tolerances, everyone has their own um, own way of designing, and everyone, so from, and you as a CAE engineer need to take this uh, raw CAD data from a lot of departments and bring it together somehow and take it to the further uh, manufacturing step or your CAE step that would be meshing in terms of CAE. So for this, you usually use space claim. So space claim basically has the feature, has some really good tools to uh, make these assemblies to, it has some really smart features to recognize where you need to clean up the geometry, where you need to repair the geometry. And it, as I highlighted earlier, has some really automated tools to do all these steps. As we will see in the live demo, we can do like really complex steps that you could not imagine with the SolidWorks or Katia or any other design tool that you can do in one step or two steps. Okay, so this was the bit of space claim in the engineering process. So the application overview, as I mentioned earlier, so CAE is one of the application that is in which space claim is really widely used. So CAE has a lot of different uh, subparts. So computational fluid dynamics is one of them. So you can create a fluid solid domain of, or a fluid domain with space claim. You can do some model simplifications with space claim. You can repair the geometry with some automated space claim tools. And also this applies for structural mechanics as well. You can really simplify the geometry. You can do your tolerance checks based on what the design requirements are. And you can also do some fluid uh, for conjugate tree transfer. You can do a really quick fluid solid domain creation. So this is something that is really used in the electronics packaging industry, as well as the aerospace domain for jet engine cooling applications. So what this means is you're solving the solid as well as the fluid domain at the same time. This is what conjugate tree transfer is. And Space Claim provides some really automated tools to create this domains in two or three steps. And some more applications are, of course, there are a lot of CFC applications that can apply space claim like magnetics, electronics, and there are a lot more that I will not highlight today. So coming to some more applications rather than other than CAE are model preparation for 3D printing. So if you are if you are into the field of 3D printing or if you know a little bit about 3D printing, you know that it works with these STL files. So that is standard tessellation language files. 
So these files are really key to printing a really high quality final print. So SpaceClaim offers these STL repair tools, facet generation tools, as well as shell and infill creation tools. So shell and infill is basically to make your design hollow so that you're not print, printing a solid body and wasting material rather than fit. Yeah, so this is, this is something that can be done in space claim and it can also create your infill that is making the body more rigid and more robust for the print. And it has some more manufacturing uh, tools as well for CNC machining, for sheet metal design, and also for re reverse engineering. So if you already have a real product that you want to bring back to the virtual world, so you can use these, if you have these 2D or 3D images, Space, uh, Space Claim has these tools to convert your images back to a 3D model. Or even if you have a scan, 3D scan of your object that you want to make virtual, you have, you can, you have a lot of options in Space Claim to do this as well. Okay, so industry outlook, I will not talk a lot on this slide because industry outlook, we covered most of it in the previous slides, but I just wanted to highlight here, it's used across the industry. So basically any industry that uses CAE would be using space claims. So that's aerospace, automotive, electronics, and also robotics, it's used across the industry. So it's always an additional skill to have if you are working, if you're an up and coming mechanical engineer. Okay, so the potential roles that you could be fulfilling with the space claim tool is some entry level roles that I would highlight first. So if you're inter interviewing as a junior engineer, CE analyst, or even as an applications engineer, so this space claim tool is really useful to impress the, the interviewer or the hiring manager because no interviewer would ask you that for your data preparation tools, this would be, something however this is something you use a lot in the industry the interviewer would always ask you more about your cfd skills or your fea skills or how have you done some 3d printing before but they would never really ask you directly if you know how to prepare data for these applications so if you could highlight this space claim as a, as a know-how it would be something that is really added value to your credential and this is something here is that is definitely used a lot and it's always a challenge to bring a complex geometry together. And this is where Space Claim comes in. Now in senior roles, as well as mid senior roles, such as project engineers or even chief engineers use Space Claim a lot. So for example, if there is a chief engineer working in the development of an electronics package and there are some sub teams working under him. So the chief engineer is always improving uh, not improving, but uh, approving the designs that their sub teams produce. So for this approval, the, the chief engineer always has to do a quick check or a quick simulation of the two or three final designs that he likes from the various designs that are produced. And for this, he all, like the core tool tool would be space claim for him as well. Of course, CFD and FEA come later to let's say test the tool, but any chief engineer would have to have the skill of uh, preparing the data for sending it to a CFT simulation. And also in the academia, it's used a lot by researchers more than professors, I would say, because researchers do a lot of research in 3D printing in CFT. So it's used a lot in different areas of research as well. Now coming to the compatibility of SpaceLim with other CFT software. So of course, Space Claim is well integrated into ANSYS Workbench now because ANSYS as a company bought Space Claim or took over Space Claim in 2015 and it integrated it into the Workbench. So it's compatible with all the other ANSYS software. So you can directly export your data to other ANSYS measures or solvers or even directly from your Space Claim to your ANSYS solver in some cases because there are some simulation CAD tools that will I will be uh, focusing on a bit later. So these tools are basically doing your simulation on the CAD geometry that you have prepared by overlooking or just writing out the whole meshing step or just omitting the whole meshing step. And then it's also used 
in conjunction with these open source tools such as OpenForm, Calculix, and so on. So because if you're working with a company that does a lot of open source, uh, that works a lot with open source uh, software to save costs to, or just because they have the know-how in the company to go with these tools. There are no really CAD preparation tools that could, that are robust enough to prepare your data for these open source tools. At least I don't know any CAD preparation tools that are open source and so, uh, so robust to prepare your CAD geometries for an open source uh, software. So this is where most of these open source oriented companies use Spaceclaim as well as a tool to prepare their CAD data for uh, their simulation work or their further manufacturing work. And yeah, so the next thing is also the external commercial tools such as Star CCM Plus, SimScale or Comsol can use geometries from um, prepared from Spaceclaim. So basically these tools are also really compatible with whatever is produced in Spaceclaim, even though Spaceclaim is from a competitor company of these uh, other commercial tools. And this last point, as I highlighted earlier, it is access from the workbench or in standalone. So here you can see the advantage of being accessed from standalone because you can save the geometry outside of ANSYS Workbench, and then this could be exported to your open form tool or to your other competitor like Star CCM or SimScale or Console, et cetera. Okay, so coming to the current trends of SpaceClaim. So because now digital twin technology is being really adopted across the industry, so SpaceClaim is also being developed to support the adoption of digital twin technology to with this reverse engineering processes with more automated uh, geometric repair processes. Maybe in the future, there would be some virtual reality or even augmented reality, but this would be something in the future, but SpaceClaim is the tool that ANSYS is developing to catch up with this digital twin adoption in the industry. And simulation on CAD is something if someone of you is in the CAE or computational aided engineering industry would know that simulation on CAD is also something that is being developed a lot by the top uh, CAE companies like ANSYS, Siemens. So what this is, it means that you generate your CAD and just go directly to your simulation setup. You skip the whole mesh meshing step. This is done entirely in the background as a black box or and the user does not see this. So SpaceClaim is something that's really useful for this because SpaceClaim has a user interface that is really friendly to set up your simulation as well. And indeed this, the validation for this is ANSYS Discovery Live. That is my next point. So ANSYS Discovery Live is one of the tools that ANSYS released I think two or three years back. And that is a simulation on CAT tool and the GUI of ANSYS Discovery Live is really based on the GUI or, a, or the user interface of SpaceClaim itself. So if you see both of the GUIs, they're exactly the same. Just uh, in Discovery Live, you can do a lot more stuff, such as setting up your simulation and solving it in real time. And also ANSYS is right now investing heavily into 3D printing to meet the growing market ad adoption. So, so with this, ANSYS is developing other simulation tools that are really tailored towards 3D printing, but it is also developing SpaceClaim to, because it is really powerful in handling STL files. So it's developing SpaceClaim to uh, catch up with these uh, demands of the industry where you need a lot of geometric cleanup for 3D printing. You need a lot of um, facet generation, you need a lot of infill generation. So this is something that ANSYS is trying to do as well with SpaceClaim. Uh, 